look at the second block of learning process that is identifiers or variables. We have said the first block of learning part as constants, variables and keywords. In that we have just identified the first part that is constants. We have said four types of constants, integer, float, character and string. Let's look at all these contents with the character set to frame something called as identifiers or variables. What exactly mean by this? Let me go back to my good old mathematical expression x plus y equals to 20 or x plus y equals to 20.0. When I said this x plus y equals to 20 you identified 20 as an integer constant whereas x and y are called as variables which means that I am trying to change the values of these variables and I have identified the rule for this as x as one variable y as one more variable. Let's use the identifiers and variables in our programs. Now when I use this identifiers or variables, they are said to be the naming conventions which are used to store a quantity, which are used to allocate a name for a program, which are used to allocate a name for a module. You can have any of these things for a naming convention and we can call it as an identifier. If I place a value in a memory, that cannot be addressed with a number, it has to be addressed with a name. If I, if I write a program, you can't write a lengthy number for a program to remember the address. What I can do is, I can write a name for that particular program. If I write 10 modules, all those 10 modules need to be associated with some name. The name associated with those modules, programs or a constant, we call that as an identifier or variable. Let's look at some rules for naming the variables. Now what are the rules for using or writing a valid variable name. The very first thing which I am supposed to remember is it should be made up of alphabets, an alphabet or digits. Only one special character is allowed that is underscore. You have to write a hyphen symbol on the bottom of your line which will be called as an underscore. So first rule says that a identifier can be a combination of what alphabets, digits and a special symbol called as underscore. Second rule says always it should start with an alphabet. Starts with an alphabet and even I can start with a character called as underscore. We can have uh, identifier beginning with an alphabet or underscore. The third and the final rule says it should not be a keyword or a reserved word. Whatever, whatever the naming conventions which we use for a quantity, for a, for a value, for a module, for a program should not clash or associate itself with something standard used in C language. The special rule which I can identify one more as it should not contain blank spaces which is obviously special characters not allowed. Let's look at some examples of this particular identifier or variables. Suppose if I write a number as say A, B, C. Now if I put in double quotes that will be called as a constant but here it will be identified as a variable. Rule says it should be a combination of alphabets. Yes, it's a combination of alphabets. It should start with an alphabet. Yes, it starts with an alphabet and neither is a keyword. So I can use some conventions for naming this particular quantity. For example, I can say X to store a value, Y to store one more value. Obviously, a name can be even a single character also. But trying this will be an error. Suppose if I write a quantity as a first value, this is invalid. Now you can identify a rule why it is invalid. Let's look at those rules. It says it should be a combination of alphabet and digits. Yes, it's a combination of alphabet and digits. Second rule says it should start with an alphabet, but here I'm starting with a digit. Hence, this is invalid. So I can associate various names to call them as valid variable names or invalid variable names. Suppose if I write F I R S T first, is it valid? Yes, it's a valid variable name. If I write this way, I-S-T, is it valid? 
yes it is valid now you might argue or you might have a thought saying that this is roman 1 no this is not roman 1 this is a alphabet called as i roman people they use alphabets to represent numbers if i write something of this sort first this is invalid because this doesn't have a beginning character as an alphabet can i use a variable int at this place no this is invalid because this is which which comes as a keyword there is a predefined meaning with this particular word which should not be used for naming our conventions basically all this which which i have identified as valid they are all called as identifiers because they represent some value they represent some quantity they represent a name for a module so all these rules are supposed to be filtered for every example which we write whether it is an variable whether it starts with an alphabet or not is it a combination of alphabets and digits and does it contain a blank space suppose if i write example as quantity qty space 1 valid or invalid yes you got it right this is invalid because yes this contains a blank space rule says blank space should not be used what if if i have a name which is supposed to be done in this fashion itself in that case you can change the name as qty_1 so now this is a valid variable name because it contains what it contains alphabets and underscore symbol and a digit so whenever you feel that name which you are going to select for a quantity should be associated with some blank spaces don't try to put a blank space use an underscore symbol that's it about the identifiers or variables thank you